everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps and today I'm going to show you how to add a foil design to a fabric tote bag using deco foil and a stencil. A few weeks ago, the people over at Stencil Revolution asked me if they could send me a free stencil to try out and review. Well, stenciling is not normally my thing, but when I saw this design, I couldn't resist. I had to say yes, because that's just awesome. So what do I put this on? Well, a friend of mine had made me a tote bag a while ago with some vinyl art on it, and I don't know what I did to it, but the vinyl started to peel off. So I peeled off all the vinyl and I'm going to redo the tote bag with this design. Now the cool thing about this stencil is it's available in a whole range of sizes. So I was able to get a size that fits absolutely perfectly. Just like, look at how perfect that is, just centered on this tote bag. So that's what I'm gonna put this on. And then the question is, what am I going to use? What kind of paint or um, coating am I gonna use to put this on my bag? Well, I wasn't sure. And that's why it took me so long to get this out to you guys. But then when I was at a conference recently at a trade show, in my goodie bag, I got this free sample of deco foil from Thermoweb. I'd never heard of this stuff, um, but I watched a couple videos and oh my God, you guys, this stuff is awesome. It's basically glittery foil that you, well, shiny, not glittery, shiny foil that you can transfer onto a whole slew of different surfaces. So I've never tried it before, but I talked to them about how to do it and I am gonna give it a try with this stencil, with this bag. So basically the way it works is you put some glue down and they gave me this glue, um, this, deco foil liquid adhesive to um, you put the glue down on the stencil and let it dry so that it's nice and sticky because it dries sticky and then you put the foil on top press it down and peel it back and it should transfer the foil onto the fabric and this is the ad adhesive that they told me to try for the fabric they have a couple other fabric adhesives as well um, but I'm going to try this one first I'm going to start by sliding this piece of cardboard into the bag so that it protects the back layer of the bag from getting any glue on it bleeding through. Okay, so I've got that nice and centered in the middle of the bag. I can feel the ridge where it is and that's where I'm going to put my stencil. Now I've also got to tape down the edge of the bag and I really should be using painter's tape for this um, to protect my surface but I can't seem to find it. I know I have some, I just can't seem to find it. So we are going with regular scotch tape for today and we'll hope that that holds everything in place. I'm just kind of overdoing it a little bit with the scotch tape. Okay, I have all the corners taped down. It's not moving, um, table's moving, bag's not moving. So we're going to give it a try. And then I'm also going to tape down my stencil right onto where I put the cardboard. Let's tape down these corners. Okay, let's take a look. I gotta open the seal. And it's all white. It looks almost like just your normal school glue in there, um, but it's not. It's gonna be really awesome. So I'm putting the lid back on and I'm gonna give it a shake just to make sure that nothing has settled or separated. This was also in my mailbox for a full day out in the cold, so I have let it warm up, um, and let's hope that it works really, really well. So now I'm just gonna use this. It's got a little pointy tip, so you can even draw with it if you want to, if you have drawing skills, which I do not. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start filling in this stencil with it, and then I'll smooth out the edges because I want to be careful not to get under the edges right now. So I'm just kind of filling it in and then I'm going to use a ruler actually to come in and smooth it all out afterwards. So right now I'm just loosely filling some in into all of these little holes. Okay, let's see how that much of it looks. I have an old school protractor 
that I'm going to use to kind of level the glue out. Okay, see I have been adding too much glue because I've got all this extra glue. So I'm just kind of scraping the glue down like that and I can use it to fill in some of the rest of this too. And then where I have empty spots, I'll fill in more glue. I'm going to keep doing that until everything is nicely filled in with glue. And I like that it shows white so that I know where I filled it in and where I haven't. When it dries, it's going to dry clear. This is already starting to dry because it's sticking to my protractor. So some of these bare spots may not actually be bare spots. They may be spots where it's already started to dry. So I'm going to say that that's good and I'm going to leave it alone now. No more fussing. It says on the package that it takes one to two hours to dry. I don't want my stencil to be stuck to the, pro to the bag once it's dry. So before we get to that point, I'm going to very carefully peel this stencil up. Take off the tape first. There we go. Tape. My fingers are starting to stick together. Tape. Well, I can give that tape up when I peel. All right, so I'm going to peel this up really carefully. Oh, it looks like it transferred really well. Look at that. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not sliding it, so I'm going to grab it here and hold this down. Pick it up. Get the tape. And check that out. Oh my God, that already looks so awesome. Now I'm going to leave it right here. I'm not going to touch it um, for one to two hours until it's dry, and then we'll come back and put the foil on. I've given it a little bit over an hour to dry, and you can see there's no white spots left. It's all dried perfectly clear. So now it's time to add the foil. Let's take a look at what's in our tube. Easiest way to open this is grab it by the top part here and twist and then it comes right off. If you try to pull, sometimes it suctions in there. But the first thing in the tube is this pen of deco foil adhesive. So this is another glue that you can use to attach the deco foil. But when I talked to the people at um, Thermoweb, they told me that this was not necessarily the best one for stenciling onto fabric. They said this is really meant more for paper. So that's why they gave me this liquid ad adhesive to do this fabric project. So also inside is the actual deco foil. Isn't this pretty? It's totally my colors, right? Purple and green. Um, and I'm, I'm really digging teal recently. So there is a lot in here. As you can see, there's four or five sheets. There's one, two, three, four sheets so far in here. Uh, I'm going to set these aside really carefully. I don't want to accidentally touch the fabric with them. Um, and I'm just going to pull off one sheet for you here. I'm going to start first with this sheet and now you'll notice that this has the colorful side and then it has the silver side. So we put it silver side down and press it into place. So I'm going to put this very carefully. I want as much of that green as I can get. So I'm going to put it right here. Let's see where this glue is. There's the end of the glue there. So let's go right there. Yep, I got everything. Good. And then I'm just going to press that in place just for a minute. I'm going to be doing a lot more pressing than that, but that's just to hold it for right now. And now this piece, it's got that little bit of gold on top, which I don't actually want on my pattern, so I'm going to overlap that right there. And I think that's going to give me a really nice transition from the purple to the pink down here. And I'm just pushing everything down 
and now we get to be really rough with it. I'm going to start with a ruler and just smooth everything down really well. And you can start to see some of the texture coming through where it's sticking to the glue. Okay, now I can see where my picture is. Let me get a little bit more here. Now I can see where my picture is, so I'm just gonna go with my finger over every one of these little spots and just really rub it down. You can use a coin, um, you can use, like I did the ruler, you can use whatever you want, but you wanna get it really, really pressed down hard. The better you press it, the better it'll stick to the glue. Here I'm going to use a button to give me a little bit more pressure just because my fingers are getting tired. This is kind of a big design. As I do this, you can start to see some of the image pop through. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you see the little lines from the yarn ball. Um, in person, I can see that a lot more clearly. And when I see the texture of the image, that tells me that the glue is stuck to the foil because it's holding the foil in place as I'm scraping it. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if I've got it down really well. I'm going to peel this off really slowly and I'm starting with the bottom piece because I'm going to actually put some more pressure over here where it overlapped as soon as I've got the bottom off. So you can see this comes off really easily and it's all stuck. Now if I see a spot that isn't completely stuck, I can put this back down, rub over that spot a little bit more and see if I can't get more to stick. If there's a little bare spot in the glue, it won't stick, but if there's glue there, it'll stick. See, so I fixed that. So now I'm just gonna keep going. There's another spot I wanna rub down a little more. Okay, oh, another one. Looks like I missed the bottom of these letters a little bit. Yep, let me just go over the bottom of all of these letters before I keep peeling. Okay, let's see how we did now. Not bad. That's pretty cool, huh? And you can see that the foil is totally gone and all that's left on top is um, just a, a plastic coating that holds it all together. So basically this has the foil underneath and then a plastic sheet attached to it on top. And what we're doing is we're sticking the foil to the glue and then that plastic sheet comes away. Now this was the part that was overlapping. So I want to go over this one more time and just make sure it's really pressed down. But now I'm being very careful of this foil that's down here. I don't want to, you know, start to scrape that off or anything. So I'm pressing this down right along the edge here where there was that overlap. Okay, let's see how this looks. So far so good. Go. 
Know these letters aren't as good as they could be. Apparently I'm bad with the bottoms of letters. Who knew? And that's what I love about this is if you didn't quite get it right, you can just go back and fix it. There we go. That should be better. There might just be a bare spot. Yeah, there's probably just a bare spot in the glue there. There's nothing sticky left. Oh, the crochet hook came out nicely. Oh, let's try that little spot. There we go. Okay, and then these letters need more work, just like all my other letters did. Now this is the first time I'm doing this, you guys. So if I am managing it this easily, you guys can do it too. This is a really easy pro project and product to work with. And there we go. Oh, I missed the green a little bit. So I'm just gonna line this back up right here. Do you see on the top of the G where it's a little bit light? I'm going to line this back up. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. I just want to make sure I have some green over that bare spot. And then I'm going to push that into place. And it's all fixed. Much better. So that's how you add a foil decoration to a canvas tote using deco foil and a stencil from Stencil Revolution. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, or leave me a comment. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great videos. Thanks for watching.